let's get straight to creating a virtual machine and accessing that through the Amazon Elastic Computing Services. From the Elastic Computing Dashboard, select key pairs. You'll need a key pair to access any machine you launch. It's very easy. Pick a name, hit Create. And as soon as you've done that, a key pair is generated and downloaded onto your local machine. I suggest you copy across that key pair somewhere memorable and convenient. You'll be using it a lot to access any virtual machine you launch and also any scripts you might create. So I'm going to move that key pair across into a directory named EC2. There we have it. We now now have a key pair and we know where it's stored. Time to start an instance. If you select the instance area, I'm not running anything at the moment, I'm just going to click launch instance. For demonstration purposes, I think I'm going to choose the free tier. And I like to use Ubuntu. At this point, you just check through which tier you want to use. The security group, I'm going to choose the default. Hit launch. At this point, you need to choose and authorize a key pair. And that's it. Very simple. The instance is now launching. And as soon as it's finished, you'll be given an IP address that you can use to access the machine. There is our Ubuntu box. It's up and running. There's the public IP address and confirmation of the key pair authorized to access it. Well, we now have all the details we need to access our virtual machine in the cloud. Moving into the EC2 directory, I'm just going to SSH in to the Ubuntu box. Tip here, any virtual machine created in EC2 that's an Ubuntu box has a username Ubuntu. Oh, don't forget to state which key pair you want to use when connecting to the box. Let's try that again. User Ubuntu at IP address. That's it. Oh, no, that didn't work. You might come across this problem. The issue is your key pair file permissions are too open. I'm just going to take a look at what they are at the moment. Okay, I'm going to change the permission so that only the user has access rights to those keys. Now let's check to see if that's worked out. We should be good to go. There we are.